who has spoken out against former Vice President Dick Cheney a number of times, Congressman Ron Paul of Texas, who has also been an advocate of uh, not doing international intervention when it comes to terrorism and when it comes to fighting terrorism, because that's not the way to do it, in his opinion. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate your time. Uh, Thank you. Is, Thank Dick you Ch is, Dick, is the rhetoric that Cheney and some of the Republicans are throwing out, and Michael Steele did it today as well, is that hurting our effort, in your opinion? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I haven't quite figured all that out. And my attack was not initiated by myself. You know, I was asked about it, what I thought about him speaking out. And I just thought that he had had his eight years to try to do things and uh, left us with a lot of problems. So it was sort of out of out of character to come back and, and start chirping at the president uh, for this. But really, my, well, my beef is, is that uh, foreign policies never change. There's a lot of talk about, you know, when the Republicans are running against the uh, Democrats, like when we were running against Clinton, we were the peace party and there was too much intervention. And then when Obama runs against Bush, well, oh, we have to have less, we're going to bring our troops home and end the war. And then they get in and they do the same thing. See, I can't see any difference in reality between the foreign policy of Obama and George Bush. So for Cheney to come in and say, oh, there's Obama, he's horrible, he's horrible. But he ought to say, hey, keep up the good work because in the Congress, you know, uh, the Republicans are more supportive of Obama than the Democrats are. I mean, we're, they think that the Republicans will pass the bill to get the additional troops for, for Afghanistan. So there's a lot of hypocrisy going on here. And I'm just trying to argue my case that I think we should have less intervention and, and less pretense that there's a real difference between the two parties. What evidence do you have, Congressman? Or why do you believe that al Qaeda would be less aggressive to kill Americans if we weren't doing international intervention and going and fighting them on their soil and going after them? Well, they didn't exist till we got over there. We helped create them. Matter of fact, we we even our CIA helped radicalize uh, the Madrasa schools because we were allies with them when we were trying to fight the Soviets and put them out of Afghanistan. So uh, yes, we helped initiate that because they they understood our argument. Hey, look, these communists are bad people and they're invading your country. They want to take over. So they accepted this idea. Well, we'll re use religion to radicalize. And I don't happen to believe the Al Qaeda is one unit. I think they're just scattered number of, of Muslims who have been influenced by the radical element of, of the Muslim religion, which I think is rather minor, just like there is in the other religion, including the Christian religion, they, yeah. that they can advocate violence. So I, I think that's what it is. I don't think there's a monolith. I don't think for a minute that Osama bin Laden is running this show. I think this is, uh, you know, not philosophic, well, partially philosophic, but it's theologic, too. Yeah. And they get aggravated and angered by us dropping bombs on them, which Obama continues to do, and which Bush did, and Clinton did. They all do it. We only have one foreign policy. They get angry. How we do kill you, civilians doing this? Uh, Congressman, you've been an advocate for civil liberties and, and privacy and protection and such stuff as that. Uh, how do you feel about some of the measures that President Obama has taken in the wake of this? Uh, more screenings at airports. Uh, I mean, heck, we got the Patriot Act. You can listen to anything you want to listen to. Uh, I mean, just yeah. a list of things that this administration has put out domestically to try to curb uh, any type of attack. How do you feel about this? Is he doing enough or is he not doing enough? What do you think? Well, I, some of it, certainly we ought to have looked at some of these people coming in from countries that we put on the terrorist list. I mean, that would be common sense. Do you agree with him on the 14 countries? Do you agree with him on the 14 countries that he put on the list? Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, I had made a suggestion. Interesting enough, I had something passed right after 9-11 that we ought to be very careful with those countries that we had put on a list. And I think there were four at that time. And that bill passed in the House and the conference, in the conference they removed that. They didn't want to do that. And I thought, well, if you use your logic, this is a lot better than putting us through the harassment and taking our shoes off and our belts off and stealing our new toothpaste and all these things. We spend $75 billion trying to get intelligence. And then when somebody comes with a hot lead, we can't even handle it. It and, is amazing. Uh, yet, uh, even with all this effort, with all this effort, we're missing the whole point yeah. is we don't ask the question, why are they so angry? And if it is what I say, because we're there, all this effort will be for naught. Congressman we have to Ron think Paul, about, is our presence in the Middle East worth anything to us? Congressman Ron Paul, great to have you with us tonight. I appreciate you being on. Thanks so much.